Todd Log. <laughs> Hello, Chairlets people. It's filming. Is it? Is the light on? I think it's so. Is the red light on? Is the red light on? No, it's fine. That was pretty hilarious, so I almost killed myself. So, uh, yeah, don't go there. So, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Andres, here with uh, my friend Michael today. Michael, point the camera at yourself. Hello. You and uh, and Jen over there as well. What's up? And uh, yeah, it's a nice powder day here in Whistler. The season is finally coming together. There's finally like a good amount of snow on the hill. Things are opening up and we're able to explore a little bit more into the trees. So yeah, on Mallorca again today. Hoping that I don't do too much damage to it, although I did just hit a very decent sized rock. And I think that you also just hit a rock, didn't you, Mike? I did, yeah. Yeah, what happened to you? So I was kind of focusing on Andreas because I'm not really used to filming stuff. And then, lo and behold, right in front of me was a massive boulder. So <laughs> don't recommend doing that. No, not at all. time and space. Only one thing can save him now, and that's the power of Gnar! The power of Gnar! <laughs> Hello random skier, Gnar Gnar! Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, guys, we just did our first few laps. There's some awesome powder down there. It's still pretty tricky because there's like maybe about a foot of fresh snow on top of like bare bone ground in some cases. So still have to really keep your tips up and watch out for uh, rocks or logs. Logs are the big one in this case. I almost hit a log like full speed through that lap. So got to make sure that I uh, stay safe. Riding with my buddy Mike today. How's it going? Say a couple words to the camera there, bud. Yeah, I know. We've had a pretty good morning. It's pretty fun, actually, riding through the pal. All the little treetops sticking out. People don't really want to go there for some reason. I mean, I kind of understand you want to keep yourself safe, but it's pretty fun darting around. Kind of makes its own little mini game. So, yeah, it's been a fun morning. Still lots of fresh snow to be had. Ready for some more laps. Cool. And how about you, Kev? Yeah, this is definitely, I think, the best snow like in the resort yet. We're over here on Blackcomb and the snow on the runs is just building up throughout the day. I think we got, feels like 15 centimeters overnight and it's just continuing, continuing to snow. So covering up a lot of debris, covering up a lot of rocks and logs, which is opening up all these different zones. So it's really fun. <laughs> Andreas, what are you thinking about while riding through powder? Guys, I'm trying not to set in my edges too hard. I want to keep that board nice and level so that I can pivot around really quick and easy. The last thing I want to do is lean in really hard and catch an edge on a root or a rock. So I'm trying to keep my board nice and level, surfy, and that way I can uh, ease my way out of a tight situation. That guy just took out this entire tree. This is what we're talking about. Keep those tips up, right? Yeah, holy crap.
Andreas, your power riding style is pretty wild and unique. <laughs> Do you have any advice out there for somebody just getting into power riding? Yeah, man, you wanna make sure you're bending your knees, you're using your legs as a suspension system, and the lower that you can get in your stance, the lower your center of gravity will be, which therefore gives you more stability uh, when you're riding in terrain that might be kind of crazy. Um, another thing you want to make sure you do is not overturn in steeper powder. Sometimes people want to like cut speed really hard and they throw their edge around and that ends up tomahawking them. They catch an edge and they go flying. So make sure that you're keeping yourself at sort of an even pace when you're edging in and out of a turn. Yeah, guys, I like to keep my uh, arms sort of more up in the air. You know, I have a more flailing kind of style. I feel like the more you can keep your body moving with you, the better the suspension that you'll have. And I often use my arms to guide my shoulders. That way I know exactly where I'm headed. Would you recommend that for a beginner or would you maybe recommend something that's a bit more calm? No, I would say uh, if you're more of a beginner, keep your, uh, keep your arms more at your sides. Definitely use your shoulders to steer and you want to maintain sort of that, you know, upper body um, float. Close, <laughs> yeah, almost like being a bit more square to your board with your shoulders. I was saying to Kevin, it's kind of crazy because Kevin used to teach snowboarding versus I've been snowboarding since I was 11 and I totally don't ever think about technique anymore. When I'm riding, I'm just sort of going for it, pointing my nose and letting my, uh, letting my body do the rest. So <laughs> sometimes when I, uh, when I talk with Kevin, I'm like, oh, right. That's the technique. No, it's great. You're self-taught. Yeah. For sure, man. I think too, once you get all those like basics down, you can definitely open up and like invent your own style too. Yeah. My style is definitely a uh, avant-garde. <laughs> <laughs> nice dude. the shot all right guys so that was an awesome day it was my day off today it was my Sunday of the week even though it's not really Sunday but great day on the hill got to experience some fresh powder with my friends Mike how's it going and Kevin say hi Kevin <laughs> yeah dude it's good snowboarding with you today yeah, Andreas, it was good riding with you today, man. I feel like this could be the start of storm week here in Whistler, so let's keep it coming. Yeah, man, super excited about the snow we're supposed to be getting. There's rumors of up to 50 centimeters, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Anyway, we're just headed down back to the parking lot and out to get some food in the village. Sweet as. See you at ramen. 